And sure enough, Cassius Winston is the guy who joins us now. Cassius, let me start with this. Why is your first name Cassius? Where's that come from? Um, my parents kind of, when I was born, I was kind of run out of time for a name, so they kind of started spitting out a lot of names at once, and Cassius was the name that stuck. As in clay? Or is there some other yeah. etymology behind it? No, definitely it's Cassius Clay. You know, they had a lot of inspiration about him being the greatest of all time, so they, they enjoyed that name. <laughs> nice low bar they're setting for you, right at birth. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, you know, I talked with Tom Izzo last week at the Big Ten tournament, and I asked him, why are you so much better at shooting three-pointers now than you were last year? And he said it's as simple as you're just shooting more, that you didn't shoot the ball that much last year. You didn't even shoot much in high school. Is that true? Uh, yeah, definitely. Especially in high school, I was able to get to basket a lot more, so I took advantage of that. And now, you know, this year I'm getting a lot more open threes, a lot more, you know, good looks, and I'm knocking them down. So how is it possible this massive skill set of being an above 50% three-point shooter was never discovered until now? Uh, I don't know. I, I would like to tell myself I always had it, but I definitely spent a lot, of, a lot of time this summer, you know, getting a lot of reps up. I knew this year I'll get a lot of shots because we're so talented. So if I'm able to knock that shot down consistently, it just helps a lot. All right, let me ask you about your roster. If you need a laugh, if there's tension or whatever, and somebody has to be funny on the team, who do you turn to? Uh, definitely Nick Ward. Uh, he's probably by far the silliest guy on our team. How so? Just everything's about him. You you think he's just like big and angry, and he's just <laughs> he's just silly and goofy all the time. Let me go back on the court. You guys lost in the Big Ten tournament to your rival Michigan. What was Izzo saying to you in the locker room after that game? Uh, just that you know we let a lot of things that were you know in our hands get out get out get out of hand. It was it, we got to pay attention to the details and execution and all those type of things that take us from the, you know a good team to a great team. So what has he done this week? I mean, this is weird for everybody. What, what, what have the practices been like? Uh, we're doing a lot of, you know, scrimmaging against each other, you know, because when you scrimmage against each other, you know each other's offense ins and out. So you got to execute a lot more, you know, even, even that much better. So we did a lot of scrimmaging against each other, a lot of uh, breakdown offenses, a lot of different reads and looks and things like that. Was it more intense than a normal week, a little less intense? Uh, I, would, I would say, you know, it's a, it's a lot more time on our hands, so you got a lot more time to rest up a little bit, but it, the practices are definitely intense, so, you know, we're going full go. And we've heard some people say that they're going to try to attack this week as kind of trying to be loose, maybe do stuff away from basketball as a team because you got this whole week. Have you guys done any of that stuff? Uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we went to Chicago for a couple of days. Uh, we saw the Hamilton play. We saw oh. a Bulls game. So, yeah, we're definitely, you know, we're just not, you know, st stuck in East Lansing. We did a little bit of, you know, going out, you know, got a little time because we, we did have a very good season, a very successful season. So want to reward yourself a little bit. And now we back on campus regrouping and focusing on, the, you know, the task at hand. Yeah, well, I don't know if you knew this. There's a network that's based in Chicago. You could have stopped on by and said, hello, Cassius. Would it have killed you? Uh, I'm really? sorry. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, I thought you were a leader on this team. Aren't you the type of person who speak up and say, hey, coach, why don't we go see Mike and BTN? My bad. That didn't cross my mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> Words hurt, Cassius. Uh, what did you think of Hamilton? <laughs> uh, it was great. It was definitely a, a great play. Uh, it did a good job, you know, keeping our attention and definitely learned a lot during it. Do you have more fun at Hamilton or the Bulls game? Uh, the Bulls game, you know, great play, but I'm definitely a, you know, basketball guy, so basketball is definitely more my speed. <laughs> Hey, well, let me go back to a game you guys had that was so rare. The Northwestern win where you're down 27 and come back to get the victory. What was it like being a part of that game? Uh, it was crazy. You know, it was, you don't get not in that situation a lot. You know, it was a couple times looking up the score. And I think almost we were down almost 30. And it was crazy that even, even then we didn't feel like we were going to lose that game. And then we just started chipping away and chipping away. And it got to a point where we were maybe down 12, and we just knew that, you know, it, it, this was our time. We was going to win the game. Man, if you're down 27 and you still think you're going to win the game, that is some confidence. Cash just wins. <laughs> Thanks for the time. I'm going to eventually get over you not stopping by the studios. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Appreciate that.